Alright, Sean Wong, Sean Wong. Call Hong Kong Yang Yang Hagaba Shim Yao Shai by Shim Rakak Wadash. The Lans to the Elves and the Apostles, the Great Millstone, who well Sean Wong to the whole for the that are scared of Brian. To you, brothers out there, pushing this truth with all righteousness and sincerity into the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening learning to you, I say Sean Wong. This is the brother Kabari Yash coming back at you in another lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai. Go win to the fine and feed the lands of Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai through the spirit of Rakak Wadash. I pray this is going to be able to find a stretch at the point. It's going to be a little quick lesson, man. All right. And I watched a video earlier, all right, from the Elder Malcolm and I. Right? And he was talking about how, you know, San Francisco, California is just going down, man. All right. Not just California, man. New York as well, man. All right. You see the homeless people, you know, all over San Francisco, man, and all throughout California. And that's in every state, man. All right. Including here where I'm at, man. Because, hey, here in Arkansas, Fort Smith, where I live, you see homelessness here, all right? You know, there's a place downtown where, you know, the homeless people, they hang out here, all right? But I'm not going to, you know, get into deep into that, man. But nevertheless, man, that goes to show this place is through, man, okay? This place is done. This place is through. Babylon the Great America is just... <laughs> It's deteriorating from inside out, man. All right? And through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, the men of the Lord are chanting this place down. And it's going down, man. Babylon, the great America, is going down as we speak, man. Okay? The days are being shortened for the elect's sake. All right? So I got three articles I'm going to show. Okay? All right? Because Elder Malcolm, he talked about this in, his, in the video. All right? Let's read this. This is from CNN Business Not. Dot com it says 90 a 99 year old trucking company yellow shuts down putting 30,000 out of work okay 30,000 people out of work man okay and this company been around for a long time and of course I've seen these trucks man all right <laughs> this is a, a old trucking company man okay <laughs> So let's read a little bit of this. It says, Yellow Corporation, a 99-year-old trucking company that has once a, that was once a dominant player in its fields, halt operations Sunday and will lay off all 30,000 of its, of its workers. Damn, man. 30,000 people out of work. This place is going down. 30,000 people. That's a lot, man. So 30,000 people are about to be out of work. And really, that happened uh, Sunday, okay? Today is August the 1st, okay? But what they distracting you with? They distracting you in the news and mainstream media. They ain't talking about this stuff. They ain't talking about the economy going to shits. They talking about, you know, the indictment of Donald Trump, man. On four counts and all that bullshit. This is what they talking about. So, this is... You know, this ain't being reported on the mainstream media, man. Okay? The mainstream media is hiding, you know, what these devils' true intentions are. So they're distracting you with all these distractions. Okay? It says the unionized company has been in a battle with the team, teamer, is, what's that? Team, Teamster Union, which represents about 22,000 drivers and dock workers at the company. Just a week ago, the union canceled a threatened strike that had been promoted by the company's failing to contribute to its pensions and health insurance plans. The union got so like the union granted the company an extra month to make the required payments. But by midweek last week, the company has stopped picking up freights from its customers and was making deliveries only by it's only a freight already in its system, according to both the union and Sasher, I don't know who that gender, a trucking industry consultant. Okay, so there you go. All right, and what? And hey, if these truck companies stop, man, stop delivering the gas, stop delivering the food, all this stuff, man, it's over with. Okay. You're going to see less food in your grocery stores. You're going to see, you know, your basic necessities. All these shelves are about to be empty, man. Okay? If more trucking companies shut down, okay? You're about to see a lot of things take place, man. Chaos, okay? And we're very dangerously close to that, man. 
And a lot of people don't realize how dangerously close we are to that. Alright, so that's the first article. I'm not going to read the rest of that. Alright. Let's read this one. This is from prophecynewswatch.com. It says, 10 signs the mainstream media is not telling you the truth about the economy. Alright. What are those 10 signs? Let's read a little bit. It says, if you believe the corporate media, the U.S. The economy is doing absolutely great as we start to roll through the second half of 2023. Even though inflation is out of control, that's like they like to tell you inflation is under control. Inflation is not that bad anymore. But they're lying to you, man. You can't believe everything to me. Screen media tells you, man. And who owns the mainstream media? Amalek does. Okay. The commercial real real estate market is in free fall. Corporate bank not corporate bankruptcies are surging, and large businesses all over America are conducting mass layoffs. We are being told that everything is just peachy. Yeah, exactly. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> got a scripture for that. I don't know. Okay, got a scripture just for that. What they telling you? Peace and safety. All right. <laughs> Before the destruction. Okay, let's get that. First Thessalonians 5 and verse 3. I'm going to get straight to the point. For when they shall say peace and safety, all right, they're telling you everything is good, everything is perfect. Then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So, hey, they're telling you everything is perfectly fine, everything is great, the economy is doing great, inflation is going down, blah, blah, blah. No, man, don't believe anything that the mainstream media is telling you, okay? They're distracting you people from what they're really about to do, okay? What the elites are really about to do and what they're about to urge in. They, hey, they're killing this old system, all right? They're letting this old, all right, monetary system die out, all right? The petrodollar die out so they can bring in their new digital system, man, all right? Which is going to be tr controlled by the government, all right? Through the CBDC and then eventually the MOTB, which is to see here. Okay, so hey, you can't believe anything these guys tell you, man. Okay, all they're doing is distracting you and, and hey, <laughs> not telling you real news. You know, and really, you're not going to get real news from the mainstream media at all. Okay, let's just be clear on that. Let's read a little bit more. It says, for example, the following comes from a great recent NPR article entitled, Was Recession? It is a summer of. Spurling profit profits and girl power. The numbers are and and things looking look surprisingly rosy from the economy. The Federal Reserve is still cautious, but big brands including Coca Cola, Hilton, and Visa are singling praise to shoppers seemingly underdetermined by companies raising prices. What more? Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and Barbie are enticing people to part with their money, bolstering local businesses. Yes, girl power is supposedly saving the U.S. economy. Doesn't sound wonderful. Doesn't that sound wonderful? No, it doesn't, because that ain't true. <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, it just isn't true. Here are 10 signs that the mainstream media is not telling you the truth about the economy. All right. Number one, it says when the economy is doing well, okay. Hold on. Let me do this. All right. It's not disturbed. It's lucky. All right. Let me read this. Number one, it says when the economy is doing well, there is a tremendous demand for trucking. But when the economy is tanking, Trucking companies often get into serious trouble. And like what we just read, man, about the uh, younger trucking company. They just laid off 30,000 of their employees, man. So 30,000 employees are out of jobs right now. Okay? And which is about to go into. <laughs> Unbelievable. There you go. So it is very bad. So it is a very bad sign that one of the country's oldest and largest trucking businesses is literally on the brink of collapse. And we just read about that, man. 
Let's read it. It says, Yellow, one of the old country's oldest and largest trucking businesses, is preparing to file for bankruptcy and may collapse within days, which I already have, leaving some 30,000 workers without jobs. We just got through reading about that, you see? See, that's what the mainstream media is not telling you, man. Okay? The nearly 100-year-old company is known for its competitive pricey and has more than 12,000 trucks shipping freights across the U.S. for brands, including Walmart and Home Depot. See? Get, <laughs> and now this doesn't happen. Guess what? You're about to see Walmart. When next time you go to Walmart, man, pay attention to the shelves. Ooh, got to get this scripture. Got to get it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Little side joke. All right. So there you go, man. <laughs> see? Hey, these stores are about to be empty. You see? <laughs> Come on, man. That's the spirit, man. Second Israel chapter 6 and verse 22. And suddenly shall the soul places appear on soul. The full store houses shall suddenly be found empty. You about to see empty shelves, man. Okay? You see? All through the spirit, man. Wow. Look at that. Let's go back to the article. See? <laughs> uh-huh. See, this is what the mainstream media is not warning you people. Hey, but the men of the Lord were warning you, man. The prophets are warning you. Okay? So you can't say you didn't have an excuse. You see? You've been warned. Okay? According to the Wall Street Journal, the company is prepared to file for bankruptcy and it is in the process of spelling off other parts of the business. Dang. All right. Let's read a little bit. Let's read a little more. It says, number two, you can add, what's that? Answer a boost to the rapid growing list of largest companies that are conducting mass layoffs. All right. That's a beer. That's a beer company. All right. <clears throat> Alright, it says, <clears throat> I'm just going to scam through this. I'm not going to read all of this. It says, uh, part, the parent company of Bud Light announced that it will be laying off 350 employees, many of them in corporate positions as it seems to recover from the fallout over a campaign involving a, you know, a transforming influence. We all know what that was about. And yeah, yeah, that's going to tank. All right. <clears throat> anyway, number three it says the number of large company not corporates debt defaults so far this year has already exceeded the grand total for the entire year of 2022. All right, we in 2023. It says the total amount of corporate debt defaults in the United States this year has already exceeded the amount seen in 2022. <clears throat> Let's jump down. It says at least 55 American based companies defaulted on their loans in the first half of 2023, according to a data from Moody Investor Services. <clears throat> that is 53% increase from the total number of defaults last year. When, when just 36 companies said they would fail to repay their debt. Obligations to lenders. And America is in heavy debt, man. Okay? That uh, that Abunya, man. That's spoken of in uh, half the two. And, uh, let's just get it. I don't want to butcher it. Let's just get it. Let's get it. Because America is in heavy debt, man. Debt that can, they cannot pay back. All right? <clears throat> this is Hapka 2 and 5. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarged his desire as hell and is as death. Who's this talking about? Esau, even the so called white man. And cannot be satisfied, but gather unto himself all nations, and even unto him all people. Verse 6, the point. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long to him that lays himself with thick clay? And that word thick clay it means in the Hebrew word abunya, which means heavy debt. America is in heavy, heavy debt. Thirty-three trillion dollars in debt, man. Debt that they're not gonna be able to pay that. 
it's money that they're not going to be able to pay back. Okay? So this place is through, man. Babylon is through. Okay? All right? What else? Let me see. Anything. No. Okay. Let's continue. All right? Number four says the cost of living continues to soar. All right, and not to mention gas prices done. Um, uh, you know the prices for gas to put in your car done done jump back up thirty cents, man. Okay, these past couple of weeks, you see. So shit is about to get worse, man. Things are not gonna get better for this place. Babylon, the Great America, as we speak, is falling. Okay, it says the cost of living continues to soar. And CNBC is reporting that. Vehicle repair costs have risen by nearly 20% over the past 12 months. Damn. So this place is done, man. Let's go a little bit more. I'm not going to read all this. I'm just going to scan through them, all right? It says, number five, it says more than three quarters of a million households in the state of California are behind on their rent. Wow. That explains the, <laughs> that explains the whole homelessness. And it's about to get worse in California. Okay, and if California and New York goes down, then guess what? That means all the states are about to go down, man. It's over for Babylon, okay? And now it appears that a tsunami of mass eviction is coming. See? Let's read this little paragraph. It says, more than 768,000 households are behind on rent in the Garden State. In the Golden State. It's with debts totally more than five billion dollars. God damn, whoo wee. Over. It's a wrap. Putting approximately seven hundred and twenty one thousand children at risk of eviction. Alright, and who's the more evict and who's the most evicted per demographic people in America? You so called black women. So you know who this is talking about. So you so called black women who've been living at ease, yeah. It's about to get very uncomfortable. We already know it's going to get uncomfortable for the Lord's hopeful elect. But it's really about to get uncomfortable for you Israelites, man. Mainly you Israelite women who've been living up and being at ease, man. Like it tells you in Isaiah 32 and verse 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. All right? Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. Roughly paraphrasing, man. According to the National Equity Atlas, a collaborative data and analyst tools found by Oakland based policy link the University of Southern California Equity Research Institution. All right. Re residents in the city of Los Angeles are facing a deadline of August 1st to repay all rental debt occurred between March 2020. And September 2021, y'all know what's going on in that time. With that, from October 2021 to January 31st of 2023, due by February 2024. Damn, over with, man. Number six, it says electric vehicles are supposed to be the wave of the future, but Ford is going to lose 4.5 billion dollars on. Electric vehicles this year alone, golly, $4.5 billion, man, for these electric vehicles. <laughs> uh, there you go. Number seven, they say yield curve in, inversions. Normally means that a recession is coming, and right now the yield curve is the most adverse that it has been in more than 40 years. So you know a recession is coming. Number eight, just like we saw in 20, 2008, home foreclosures are starting to surge. Yeah. And it's going to be worse in 2008, man. Okay, in 1930 alone, all right? All right, as a matter of fact, let's get a scripture on that. I'm just going to, let's get a scripture. You see? Zephaniah 1 and 10. And it shall come to pass that in that day, said the Lord, how about she shout that there should be a noise of the of a cry from the fish gate, and then howling from the second, and a great crashing 
from the hills. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's on the hills of New York, man? All right. Wall Street. Wall Street is about to get ready to crash, man. The stock market is about to crash. They ain't letting you know. The house market is about to crash. The stock market is about to crash. This whole economy is about to crash, man. It's over. Babylon, the great America, as you speak, it's done. It's over with. Okay? Verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Meshach, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. Verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their knees. That say in their heart, the Lord in Habashiyahu will not do good, neither will he do evil. Yeah, all these people that are at ease, especially you women, man. Especially you as like women that are at ease, man, in Babylon the Great. Things are about to get very, very uncomfortable as the months progress, man. Okay, we just enter August the 1st, man. Okay, we're in August. Okay, you got about September, October, November, December. About four more months before this year is out, man. Okay, and I don't see this place continuing <laughs> throughout 2023. You might, we might make it to 2024. And then again, we might not. We'll just have to see. But I'm looking for shit to hit the fan, man, pretty soon, man. All right? Shit is about to hit the fan. Okay? All hell is about to break loose. Chaos is about to come. Okay? These people are about to lose it. Okay? <clears throat> You're about to see seditions among men, bro. Okay? All right? Number nine says, I have repeatedly warned my readers that we are in the earliest days of the worst commercial real estate crisis in U.S. history. And now one expert is comparing it to a category five hurricane. There you go. Over with. Okay. Let's read this. This last one. I'm not going to read all of this. I'm going to put the rest in the description box. You can read this yourself. Okay. All right. Number 10 says, according to Challenger, Gray, and Christmas, the number of announced job cuts in the United States during the first half of this year was 244% higher than the number of announced jobs cut during the first half last year. Okay. Employers have announced 458,209 cuts so far this year, a 244% increase from the <clears throat> 133,211 cuts announced through June of 2022. So you see, things are getting worse, man. It's not going to get better. It is the highest, highest first half total since 2020 when 1,585,047 cuts were recorded. With the exception of 2020, it is the highest January to June total since 2009 when 896,675 jobs were Job cuts were announced. And it's going, like I say, it's going to be 10 times worse than what happened in 2008. This shit is about to get real, man. Goes, all right. There you go. All right. Meanwhile, here in Arkansas, all right, I don't live in Cartsville. All right. They just closed the Haynes faculty. I saw this on the news today. Haynes faculty in Cartsville closing brand confirms all right let's read a little bit of this and i'm gonna get some more scripture and i'm gonna wrap it up it says the hay manufacturing facility in carfield will be closed by the end of september which is next month a spokesperson with the brand confirmed to five news on tuesday morning which is today according to haynes the company announced in early 2022 plans to sell their shears holstery business in the u.s due to that process, the Cartsfield manufacturing facility will have operations discontinued at the end of September. So, there you go. More people are about to be out of work, man. Okay? Alright? More people are about to be out of work. Not just in California, but here as well. Where I'm in Arkansas, man. I don't live in Cartsfield. I live in Fort Smith, but it's about... I say about an hour or 
I like five or six hour drive from here, you know, from Fort Smith to Cartersville, Arkansas. But nevertheless, man, all right, you see, things are not going well, man. <laughs> and this is what the mainstream media is hiding from you people, man. They're not telling you the truth, okay? All right, so without further ado, let's get some more descriptions. We're going to wrap this thing up, man, because Babylon, the great America, as you speak, it's over with. Let's read this scripture again. Second Israel chapter 6 and verse 22. And suddenly shall the soul places appear on soul. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Verse 23. And the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. And who's blowing that trumpet? Who's warning the people, man? The Israelites, the men of the Lord are, man. The man of the Lord, we're warning you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, of what's to come, okay? But our time of warning you is, hey, it's about to come to an end, okay? Verse 24, and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth, stand, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. You're about to see seditions street, man. Isaiah 19, verse 2, second is just the 15th chapter, about to go full blown, man. Okay? It's about to go full blown. And they, plus, they need this. All right? They need the perfect chaos so they can bring the order, man. Okay? And hey, we're on the verge of the purge-like conditions coming to Babylon, the Great America, man. And like I said, when those seditions and all right, those uh civil unrest, civil strikes, and all that come to America, it's gonna be ten times worse, man. Okay, you ain't gonna be able to leave your house, okay? Especially you women that love to go out and do all this stuff. Hey, it's about to come a time when you women ain't gonna be able to leave the house, man. Really, ain't nobody gonna be able to leave the house, man. Because it's going to be so much chaos in the streets, so many dead bodies, until it's unbelievable, man. Okay? Famine is coming. You got food shortages that are about to come. Due to these trucking companies, they're going bankrupt. Okay? And like I said, your food, your basic necessity, the things you need to live off on are not going to be on these shelves for long, man. Hey, the things that the men of the Lord have been warning you about are coming to pass, man. So, hey, either you're going to take heed or you're going to get caught up out there looking stupid. Okay? So, hey, either way, man, you're going to know that there was a prophet among you. Let's continue. Isaiah 19, verse 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Egypt is talking about America, Babylon the Great. And there is no more work in this place, man. Okay? No more work. You rock, you looking for a job, you can forget it, man. You ain't going to find it. Although they got signs up saying they're hiring, but hey, people ain't really hiring, man. Okay? People ain't really hiring. Okay? All right? I say in 19 verse 15, Neither shall there be any word for Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. Okay? So no more work for Egypt, man. This place is going down as we speak. Okay. <clears throat> this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because there are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Why? Because they see no future, man. People, you know, going up, getting up, going on the computer, looking for jobs, and ain't nobody hiring, man. Although they got... Hiring signs up, and then you see it, and I see that where I live, okay? All right? But hey, the grinding is ceasing, man. The work is ceasing here in Babylon, okay? The work is starting to cease, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of a bird. Of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. The value of music today sucks, man. Okay? It does. Right? And that goes to show you the condition that Babylon is in when you notice the music value. All right? The music in here in Babylon, Great America, it sucks crap, man. All right? Me, myself, I prefer old school music. Okay? Old school music all day. 
All right, but nevertheless, let's continue. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for a pain. If so, she may be healed. This place cannot be healed, man. All right. Let's say we do get to the elections of next year, which we hope we don't. All right, because I don't really think we are. But nevertheless, let's say we do. Let's say you do get Donald Trump back. It, look, it's a done deal. He can't fix this place. All right. People have so much faith that Donald Trump can, you know, can make America great once again like it was. Man, look, them days are gone, man, okay? Babylon, the great America, is finished finito, okay? It's over with. This place cannot be healed, okay? Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, man. These devils are moving forward with their new world order agenda man the nwo agenda they're about to move forward with this cbdc which is going to lead to the motb the c hip man okay this is this is where we're at man okay these devils are moving forward with their agenda okay so it's over with okay and they're creating the chaos to bring forth the order man okay this is all being done by design all right, like it tells you in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay? Isaiah 24, verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down. This is talking about America, Babylon the Great, and by, by, and by all means confusion. Okay? Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Verse 11, there is a cry for wine in the streets. There's a cry for truth. All right, these people are looking for answers. They're going to really be looking for answers when the men of the Lord are no longer on the street corners, on the highways and byways, no longer on this YouTube platform, Odyssey, whatever platform that the brothers may be on. You people really going to be looking for answers real soon, man, but you ain't going to be able to find them, okay? Pertaining to Amos chapter 8 and verse 11 when the famine of the word takes place, all right? Because, hey, they're about to get rid of this word. They're about to get rid of any information truth that's coming out man all right they want to censor all right censor free speech and they're moving forward with that okay i did a lesson on that yesterday man okay go watch it all joy is darkened the mirth of the land is gone the mirth of this place is gone the, the joy of this place is dead man okay all right that bread and circus is eventually gonna die out man okay <laughs> all right and all you people getting ready for next month what's next month football season to come back and all of these gonna be going to football games man Psst. look man this place is done okay babylon the great america as we speak is finished okay the mirth of this place is dead okay all right um See niggas? Nope. No, that's pretty much it, man. I'm I'm in here. I done made my point, man. So Lord willing, our praise and lesson was edifying. All praises and glorifications and goes to you. How about Shimon Shai by Shem Rakak with Dash? Double nuns to the elves and the apostles, the great millstone who will. Sean Wong to the hopeful neck. Till next time, Sean Wong, Kwam Yon and why a Bible ball. This place is through, man. So stay prayed up. Continue to fast, pray. Hey. Because we're about to enter into evil times, man. Evil times are upon us, okay? So with that, till next time, Sean Wong.